Hi, I'm Lee with Reviewed.com, and we're here today taking a look at Vizio's 2017 P-Series. The thing to know about the P-Series primarily is that it's going to deliver all of the really cool TV tech for this year at pretty reasonable prices. They're all 4K, HDR, and Dolby Vision compatible smart TVs. Vizio is still using uh, what we call a full array local dimming backlight, and that means basically that you're getting really good contrast. Probably the TV's strongest performance point is how rich and deep its shadow tones are. But it also gets pretty bright, uh, which is great for HDR, where you need a lot of brightness to get those really cool new popping colors. Like with a lot of TVs with full array local dimming, the viewing angle is pretty limited. Um, it's not so bad that you wouldn't be able to watch from like a wide couch, but you probably wouldn't want to wall mount it, because once you start to get off angle, those really deep black levels fade out pretty fast and it starts to look sort of washed out. For the most part, there really aren't that many drawbacks with this TV. Uh, you're getting good motion with the 120 hertz refresh rate, and Vizio still has that really cool SmartCast platform. Uh, what that is, is it's basically built in Chromecast. So with this TV, you're paying uh, about 1,000 for the 55 inch. The 65 inch will run you about 1,500. And the 75 inch jumps up the price a lot, over $3,000. So something that uh, HDR purists should be aware of is that the Vizio P-Series doesn't saturate color quite as much as some of the other models we've tested. Uh, entry-level OLEDs or some of the entry-level Samsung QLED TVs uh, did a little more in terms of the new HDR color space. So you get more vivid colors there, but the difference is something that you're only gonna notice in a side-by-side -side comparison. So to check out the full review and see all of our test results, head over to reviewed.com.